So, so often it, it seems like in academia, because um, we here at the King's Academy, the students here are, mm -hmm. are brilliant, incredibly mm -hmm. smart. And so that's why I was really excited to have you on here because um, of the intellectual component of, of our rush this year. So tell us why and tell the students why um, it's not academic or intellectual suicide to be a Christian. So speak to, speak to why it's actually intellectually um, conducive or, or intellectually uh, the right thing to be Put our faith in Christ. It's not wishful thinking. Can you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, well, we have a different we have a different worldview, a different theistic worldview than mm -hmm. other religious systems. So, right. for example, um, some systems are based on the wisdom statements of a prophet. Sure. And so, how would you test that? We could say, well, all these things seem to make sense, mm -hmm. or they're useful to me, or the teaching has been transformational in my life. But there's lots of people who say wise things that could be transformational. That's right. not what Christianity is. Christianity is rooted in a, an event in history, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. resurrection. Right. So like other historical events, it is meant to be tested. It can right. be tested. People can testify about it historically, yep. and then we can test those claims. Yep. And that's very different. It's not every theistic system does this. Mm -hmm. And then those that do don't always pass the test. So what's great about Christianity is, is that Jesus calls us mm -hmm. to test him these claims. I mean, he's very much an evidentialist. Right. You'll see in the Gospel of John, for example, he'll constantly say things like, hey, if you don't believe what I'm saying, at least believe on the evidence of these miracles yep, yep. I've been working mm -hmm. in front of you. You'll see in the book of Acts, he spends 40 days with the disciples after the resurrection, giving them many convincing proofs, it says yep. in Acts 1, which is weird, because why would I need more evidence after the resurrection? Isn't that enough? Sure. Well, no, 40 more days of evidence. Yep. And then he commissions those apostles as eyewitnesses, that's called direct evidence, mm -hmm. to testify. As a matter of fact, when Judas is taken out of the group, right? Mm -hmm. he, he commits suicide. Okay, well, that, what, what happens to you? They replace him with Matthias. Why Matthias? Because he is somebody, according to Peter, who had seen Jesus from the baptism yep. to the resurrection. He needed another eyewitness. Yep. Why all this emphasis on eyewitnesses? Why, even when jo John the Baptist has doubts mm -hmm. and sends his disciples to Jesus, yep. and his disciples say, hey, John's locked up and he wants to know, are you the one? Yeah. I mean, think about that, really? This is what I would have said if I was Jesus. You tell John to go back and, and, and pray about this because mm -hmm. he should know better, right? I mean, right. he's my cousin who leapt in the womb when he first met me, who baptized me, who saw the Holy Spirit descend on me, who heard God's words yep. at the baptism. He's the one who saw me walking by and gave his students to me. He basically just said, there's the Lamb of God, takes away the sins of the world. And all of his disciples became my disciples. <laughs> This is the guy now who's got doubts, really? Yeah. If that's the case, you just tell him he needs to be praying about this. That's not what he did. Instead, he did three miracles in front of John's disciples and said, go back and tell John what you just saw. Yeah. That is a commitment to an evidential faith. Evidential faith. Now, you're going to have to, at the end of this line of evidence, you will have to take a step. Sure. A reasonable step of trust sure. on the basis of what's been shown you. Yep. And that's what Jesus asked of his followers, to take a reasonable step of trust. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to do these. These yep. miracles, according to Peter, attested to the message of Jesus. Yep. In other words, they were the evidence upon, upon which you should realize that Jesus is who he said he was. That's good.